Looking forward to some sunshine this week, even though you know the 60s yeah. are gone. I well, know it's so a you know day. we had that we had that week, a couple of heavy snows. Sure. That melted, and then we had the heavy rain. Um, you know, and then what does it do to the pets? Take a look. Okay, gotta let's share take this a look from at this. Finley. Yeah. Oh but no! Lo look at that sad face. Beautiful face, sad face. Uh, and look at the paws. Look at the paws. Mm -hmm. They're so muddy. Yep, yep, yep. Clean yep. up on aisle seven. That's right, Irv. I was never in aisle seven. Oh um, my. So want to say thanks. Uh, this is Finley. And if you're a pet owner, you're, you, you understand the drill here. Uh, and this is what we're going to have to contend with because the ground is so soggy now. Uh, rainfall, this was just with system, uh, let me get my number two. This one came in last night and early this morning. Uh, Seymour almost two inches, inch and a half in Bloomington, over an inch in Shelbyville. So uh, we had three rounds of rain, if you recall, this weekend, Friday night. Saturday night this morning, and then we had a little batch here. Wasn't as heavy. Uh, here's the deal for temps today. The warmest we've been since the middle of December. Finally got a 60 degree day in Indy. Now we'll be on 70 degree watch. Don't have it in the seven day, but eventually we'll get there, right? For, uh, 50 in Columbus, 40 in Indy down from that 61 degree high. And compared to this time last night, we're running about five to 10 degrees colder. And so that will be the trend. These are high temps forecasting for Monday. It won't feel that warm because of the blustery wind, but please keep in mind that's about where we belong for this time of year. Uh, at this hour 40, as I mentioned, the wind is now to the northwest, and it will stay with us all night long into the morning hours. Uh, here's the deal for the uh, high today. I said the warmest since the middle of December. The last 70 degree day was back in the middle of November. And uh, 45, that's our average high. Uh, we're wrapping up meteorological winter right on target with snowfall. We made up big time during the month of February, had almost 12 inches. Uh, that's actually well above average for the month, but that puts our seasonal snowfall total uh, where we should be here. March is going to begin bright and breezy. May have a little leftover cloud cover in the morning, and then by noon we should be in full sun. We'll top out in the mid 40s. We'll have that wind with us, as I mentioned. Here's future track 13 as we'll get you ready for uh, the rush hour, which should be quiet here across uh, the state. Temperatures down to the lower 30s. Wind chills, though, upper teens and lower 20s. String of sunshine for us, thanks to this area of high pressure. Uh, temperatures, the warmest of the week will be on Wednesday, but still look at the seven day. Just what the doctor ordered for that uh, damp ground that we talked about. We've got sunshine going into next weekend and seasonably comfortable temperatures as well.